Over the years, she's performed with everyone from Kanye West and Jay-Z to Britney Spears and Alicia Keys. And today, she's bowing her strings to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Grammy award-winning violinist Mary Benari, welcome to Arise 360. Thank Mary, you. thank Hi. you so much for being here. I'm Happy so Martin Luther King Day. Happy MLK Day <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> now, many people know you as the hip-hop violinist, and you've played on everyone's album from Kanye and Jay-Z to Akon and even DJ Amin uh, Buren, he's the hottest new DJ out right now. Actually, I, I started off as a hip-hop violinist. You started off there. <clears throat> Nowadays, I'm featured on Intense, which mm -hmm. is the uh, title um, track for Armin van Buren, uh, mm -hmm. new album, Intense. Intense. And it was chosen as the uh, trance tune of the year, featuring a violin. It's a really big deal, not only for me, but also for people that love music mm -hmm. and, you know, get real organic music fused with electronic music. So how did you come to work with all these big celebrities? <laughs> you want to know everything? <laughs> yes. Yeah. The details. Be with the details. <laughs> well, I grew up in Israel. I uh, study classical music mm. and I always wanted to know how to improvise and, and write my own music and so I moved to the US to study jazz because I thought that if I know how to play jazz music I can swing like bird Charlie yeah, Parker yes. um, I'll be able to do my own and and you know it turned out to be okay and all right and, oh, and that's I'm an understatement <laughs> Mary. But Mary how do you go from Mozart to Jay-Z to this Jigga? How question. does that happen? Because it's music mm -hmm. and mm. when you hear the beat and if you know if you know harmony and you hear melody in your head yeah. and you know how to improvise and how to write and how to produce, which is what I do, I basically just come up with stuff many times on the spot. Mm. So what did these hardcore rappers make of you when you walked in the room, this petite little blonde <laughs> with your big <laughs> violin? Are they looking at you like, what's about to happen? You know, even the most hardcore rappers, they're not that hardcore. And they're very nice mm. people. And I have to say, I had a great experience to work with so many people, um, from Wyclef Jean to Kanye West to, to Armin van Buren lately. Mm. And all of these people are very talented. They're very hard worker, very appreciative when they hear uh, me and what I have to bring to, to their music. I so, think they like your <laughs> swagger, Mary. That's what it is. Because <laughs> <is. laughs> I've seen you play, and you got a little, mm. a little vibe with you when you play, girl. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're collaborating with someone like a Kanye or Jay-Z, what is that process like? And what attracted you to hip-hop specifically? You know, I actually just uh, did an interview for 10 years for the college dropout. I recorded uh, Jesus Walks. Um, that was 10 years wow. ago? Yeah, do you believe that? What is the time? Wow. I know. Oh, I know. Um, and it, it just, it really brought back some great memories. Mm -hmm. um, and it's amazing how I was a part of that very fresh, brand new sound mm -hmm. at the time, myself and John Legend and Kanye West. Mm -hmm. We created something so organic that almost like set up like uh, uh, the tone for hip hop to come for many years later. And now I'm doing it with electronic music, with Armin mm -hmm. van Buren, yeah. you know, and it, it, it feels fresh and new again, bringing something organic to the music scene. Now mm -hmm. let's talk about another fan of yours, <laughs> President Barack Obama yes. and the First Lady Michelle Obama. My goodness, what was it like for you the first time you went to the White House? I was nervous, uh -huh. very <laughs> excited. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes I get overwhelmed. You know, I grew up in a small town, northern Tel Aviv in Israel, and then I find myself uh, in the White House performing for, for the First Lady and being honored as, as, as a remarkable woman. And it, it, it's really, you know, you just want to seize the moment and, 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 and just be grateful for the opportunity. Wow. And you've been doing a great job. And you've been actually playing since the age of five. Your journey is amazing. You were in the military and the Israeli the military. Six. The next year, Whoa. No, I'm kidding. Where, are you talking to say they started I'm young, kidding. right? Well, how did, what were you doing in the military, and how did that whole experience change well, your life and your music? It's a mandatory service in Israel, mm -hmm. so um, mm -hmm. two years for us, mm -hmm. um, the age of 18. And it's a very grounding and humbling experience, mm -hmm. and, and it really gets you to understand that, that, that everyone is equal to everyone because in the military, you know, a, a, first, a, a soldier is a soldier. Yeah. No mm -hmm. one is better or, or, you know, less good than anyone else. And it forces you to work together, and when you get out of there, you really feel that you can do anything, and, mm -hmm. you know, maybe that inspired me to move out here and pursue my dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So today you'll be performing at the Al Sharpton King Day Public Policy Forum. What is that exactly? 
you know, I'm about to find out. Okay. <laughs> I've never been to one. Okay. Um, it's the Martin Luther King Day celebration. Um, celebrating the dream, uh, social justice. Yeah. Uh, I believe everything that is on the agenda of social justice yes. and equal opportunity. Um, Mayor de Blasio and, and, and Senator Schumer are gonna be there. A lot of um, other uh, high profile people, influential people in our society. Mm -hmm. And I'm very uh, looking forward to getting inspired. Okay. And tell us about the song you'll be performing. Uh, Symphony of Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. It's featuring... Symphony of Brotherhood. Yeah. I love that name. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Beautiful. actually, Martin Luther King says Symphony of Brotherhood um, somewhere in his speech, and this is, why, this is what inspired me, actually, to title it this way. And it's featuring uh, the Noah there, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., wow. and his timeless speech, I Have a Dream. And my music is almost like a soundtrack to his voice or his message, his words. Well, Miri, let's hear it. Yes. We're ready. Please give us a sneak okay. peek. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll move over here. Yes. You take and the And you front. do your thing. All Thank right. you. <laughs>